Hello, my name is Gabriel and I have what they call schizophrenia. In this video I want to talk about what medications I'm on and how they're working for me. So, I'm on 50 milligrams of clozapine in the morning, 50 milligrams of clozapine in the afternoon, 50 milligrams of clozapine in the evening, and 550 milligrams of clozapine at night with 20 milligrams of Cipralex. So before, um, a while ago, I was um, on just clozapine at night, a big dose of clozapine at night. But I was finding that the clozapine would wear off um, halfway through the next day. So what my doctor did is he put me on three doses throughout the day and then one big dose at night and ever since he's done that I've barely been hallucinating I still hallucinate uh, sometimes like in a stressful event or when, so when there's a change coming or when the, a change has just occurred I still hallucinate but other than, other than that I've been pretty good and the 20 milligrams of Cipralex I'm on stopped my panic attacks. I was getting bad panic attacks, as you might already know from my previous videos. And basically, the panic attacks were, um, they just weren't fun. I'd almost faint. Um, I couldn't catch my breath. My whole body would go numb. I'd be ready to hit the floor, and then I'd take a clonazepam, and it would stop the panic attack and then I had to take another clonazepam like twice a day I had to take two clonazepams a day because I was having panic attacks and I was always always masking the panic attacks with clonazepam but since the Cipralex was added I haven't needed clonazepam I haven't used clonazepam in like five months which I didn't think I could do because I was reliant on the clonazepam to stop my panic attacks but the Cipralex actually helped stop them without the clonazepam. And if you don't already know, clonazepam is a uh, benzodiazepine, which is highly addictive. So, the withdrawals from it are pretty bad too. Like, panic attacks can happen just because the clonazepam is leaving your system, and it's uh, pretty bad. But yeah, those are the meds I'm on right now. Do I see myself needing med tweaks in the future? I don't know. I think right now where I'm at, my meds are pretty good. And I believe uh, any of you who are watching my videos, um, if you have schizophrenia, I believe you can get better. Or if you have bipolar or PTSD or panic disorder or anxiety, I do believe you can get better. Just put your mind to it and... Do what you have to do to get better. If you need to take more meds, it's the trade-off, right? I didn't want to be on meds, especially when I was in psychosis, because I fell in love with being, like, sober and, what like, a normal person. But the truth is, is I was far from normal. I was psychotic. I was delusional. I was paranoid. I was hallucinating. That's not normal. And if, if I had to choose between being off meds and going psychotic or being on meds and not being perfect, I think I'd choose the meds just because it was a living hell for me. And at some point you gotta wake up and realize like, hey, I really do have schizophrenia, like this is a real thing and I have to, I have to work on getting better. It's not some, like it's not... You're not communicating with aliens. I mean, some of you might think you are, and I'm not doubting your belief on that or anything. But for me, I had to realize that I had a mental health condition, and that was the first start of getting better. And since that realization that, hey, maybe this is schizophrenia, I built myself back together, I got on meds, and I built my way back up, and now I'm pretty well healthy again. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, now you know the meds I'm on and how they're working for me. Hit the subscribe button for more videos and hit the like button. Share this video with your friends or someone who may have schizophrenia that needs some advice. 
and I will see you in another video. My name is Gabriel and I have to go. Schizophrenia.